Quack, quack. Patrick and the Duckling by Dorothy Haas. Illustrated by Art Seiden. Once upon a time, in a public park, there was a policeman called Patrick. He stood in the sun all day, twirling his stick and saying, How do you do? And, Sure, and it is a fine day, to people. Patrick looked after things. And once upon a time, in that park, there was a duckling. He lived near the pond and ate corn and crumbs and swam about and dumped for fun. He didn't know Patrick, and Patrick didn't know him. Now one day, the duckling looked up the path that led away from the pond. I wonder what's there, he said to himself. And I just guess I'll find out. I guess, I guess. And so he followed the path. Before long, he saw chittery chatty animals that swung by their tails. He saw big brown animals that growled and begged for peanuts. He saw large, lazy animals that roared and switched their tails. He saw animals with long necks. He saw animals with long noses. He saw shiny shoes. He saw shiny shoes. The duckling looked up and up and up at Patrick. Well, now, chuckled Patrick, is it a duck we have here tramping up and down our public paths disturbing the nice, neat gravel? Patrick shared his popcorn with the duckling. And then he picked him up and carried him back to the pond. Ponds are for ducks and ducks are for ponds, he said, and went away up the path, whistling. <whistles> but the duckling liked the things he had seen in the park. And so each day after that, he followed the path and saw strange and wonderful things. He saw the animals with the long necks and the animals with the long noses. He saw animals with long horns. He saw animals that carried their babies with them. He saw striped animals and spotted animals. And he always saw Patrick. That was best of all. Patrick always shared his popcorn with him. But then Patrick always carried him back to the pond, saying, Ponds are for ducks, and ducks are for ponds. Now one day, at the pond, the duckling heard a great frightened quacking. He hurried to the other ducks and found them caught in a tangled string net some boys had dropped over them. The ducks quacked and fluttered their wings, but they could not get free. Wait, said the duckling, wait! And he hurried up the path, past the chittery chattery animals, the growling animals, the roaring animals, until he found Patrick. Quick, he quacked, quick, quick! Quick is it now, said Patrick, and followed the duckling to the pond. There, he found the ducks in the string net and set them free. Then, he gave a good talking to to those boys. The boys hung their heads and promised to come back every day for a week to feed popcorn and pieces of apple to the ducks. At last, he turned to the duckling. Now that was a good and brave deed for a duckling to do, he said. And I'm thinking, I need someone to help me on my rounds. Duckling, how would you be feeling about that? Quack, said the duckling, flapping his wings very hard. Quack, quack! And so, never again did Patrick carry the duckling back to the pond, saying, 
ponds are for ducks and ducks are for ponds. Instead, together, Patrick and the duckling looked after things in the public park.